The Apple Watch Series 9 is going to be a weird one, and here's why. Starting off with the things we know, it's going to feature an S9 chip, the brand new processor, an upgrade bump from the Series 8. But the S9 processor isn't really a big factor for an upgrade for most, because the big factor for most is what watch they were on. Whether they were Series 4, 5, yeah, might be time to upgrade. 6, we're getting there. And Series 7 and 8, no, stay well clear of this thing. That's the kind of market this chip is going into. There's not much you can do with silicon in a watch. It can increase the battery life. It can increase the speed of the watch. Why do you need to increase the speed of the watch? That's really what an upgrade processor does for the watch. But when you look back on it, there's not a lot of upgrades they can do now. This is going into the maybe category. Things like body temperature sensing, uh, that can be a build upon from the tracking feature in the Apple Watch 8 and the Ultra. And I feel like this is where things are gonna get skewed a little bit. The Apple Watch Series 9 is not for the people who have a Series 8 or 7, for that matter. It's for the people who don't have those watches, the people who have an older watch that they want to upgrade to. This is who they are for. And it's much the same with the iPhones. And I think the market for this watch is the people who have a Series 6, a 5, a 4. If you have a Series 4, comment down below. Tell me why you still have one. Uh, it still work, that kind of thing. That is who this watch is for. It's not going to have the tracking features we all want as much as we would like them. Because, let's be real, we don't get nice things here in and Apple certainly isn't going to listen to a bunch of nagging nerds on the internet. Because that's what we are. When we complain about not having specific features we want. Now obviously, everyone wants more battery life in the watch. It's going to happen. Everyone wants better speakers in the watch for Siri if you use those kind of things. Which we're probably going to get better microphones, probably better Fair processor, that's the big key feature that we're hearing about. And the big key feature that we're hearing about, the processor bump, is not important. This watch is going to be one to skip. If you have a modern enough Apple Watch. And that's why I keep coming back to this video. This Apple Watch is not for you, in most cases. So if you're complaining that this watch doesn't have upgrades, doesn't have the features you want, doesn't have a load of new features from the last generation. Consider that this watch is for the people that don't have a watch yet. Or the people who are considering an upgrade from their Series 5 or 6 that's dying on them. That's who this watch is for. It is not for the people who have a Series 8. Because trust me when I say that watch already is useless enough as an upgrade from the Series 7. But when you compile all the little upgrades from the Series 5 or the 6 or the 4 into one big upgrade from the four to the nine or whatever it might be, that is who the watch is for. We're coming up on the decade of the watch. This is 10 years next year since the watch was conceived. And it is a huge time to jump. So when you consider the first generation Apple Watch Sports to the Series 9, it's a huge upgrade in my opinion. And I think it'll be one worth noting. Obviously, nothing major will be done with the Siri, with the SE. It might be a processor bump there, might be a battery bump, but we are seeing a two year refresh cycle with that alongside the Ultra. So don't expect any upgrades with that, but do expect the Series 9 to be a very boring upgrade if you have a Series 7 or 8 or an Ultra, or maybe even an SE. And thank you for coming to my TED Talk on the Apple Watch. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one. Coming out more often. Catch you next one. Peace.